Hey guys, just want to do a quick video on um, how well the Rex Persever is getting on at the moment. Um, so after uh, 17 games, I'm now top of the league by 2 points, 11 wins, 3 draws, uh, 3 defeats. Um, leading goal scorer is Tom Ease, but I'll talk, bit, I'll talk more about him in a bit. Average ratings, i say. My right back and my, say, my striker is doing, they're both doing very well. Assists. Same right back is on 11 already. He's playing very well. He can play the matches awards. So as you can see, I've got a lot of players, well, two very, very good players who are playing well for me at the moment. So that's really good. Um, look from the schedule. Um, so yeah, I've had a solid start to the season, really. Um, had a little bit of a wobble, but then I've obviously, but that's in between a, a big win against uh, Harrigan in the Papa John's Trophy. Um, yeah, two bad results really. But other than that, I said lots of wins. I did then. I did lose to Cambridge quite badly, to be fair, at home. But then I come back and they won a few more games. So yeah, so things are going really well. Did have a little run in the uh, Carabao Cup. So then I played Everton and got hammered five two at home, which is to be expected, to be fair. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's a nice little run. And I know I'm a first. FA Cup first round match because Oldham something's got three with now away in the second round so I hope I can get through that um, so that should be pretty good quick look at finances before I look at the team um, yeah finances aren't looking too bad so um, yeah so 2, 2 million 280 that's I spent on the transfer budget but for this, this level that's quite good so I'm very pleased with that considering we now bought um but they bought the stadium and upgraded the um, training ground as well last season. So, yeah, and I'm not, I've now got a under-23s team as well now. So, that's something else that they've, they've now done for me. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. So, they are spending money. Um, yeah, so we'll get up to the team. As you can see, a lot of players in the green. Um, I say Bryce Hosanna, he's been... Yeah, very, very good for me. Very, very good player at this level. Um, i say even last season, he done really well. 13, 13 assists last season, 16 overall. He played, played most of the games. For a free transfer, he's been very, very good. So this season, 13 already. And average rating of 10.96. So he's, he's made a step up easily. He can play at a high level, definitely. Um, and i say Tommy, who's, um, he's probably my favourite signing. I made in the summer. Um, managed to get him on free as well. Um, I know, he, so he played a league one, but didn't play anything in the championship, and so he got released. It was on the way out. Can't remember what it was now, but as you can see, that so 20, 22 matches, twenty three goals, average rate of seven point nine two. Very very good. So he's, like I say, he's too good for this league really. At Thirty years old. Just so such a good chance on him, but he's yeah, he's done very well. Um, and Paul Mullins managed to step up as well. He's um, he's done very well. Um, so he's on 24 matches, 13 goals. So and last season, say he got 51. So he's got lots of goals for him. Um, so not as prolific as he's, but still very good. Um, so I signed Jordan Ibe on a free, just the. Try and turn his career around. I say he's, just, he's only 26 years old. You know, considering he was a 50 million player only a few seasons ago. I say he didn't play at all previous season, um, but I brought him in. He's done okay. He scored four four goals in one game in the Papa John's Trophy. I think got another one. As you can see, he likes that. That's where he's, he's um, highest rating spin. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to I say turn his career around really. So. So I played quite a lot. Played 15 games already for us. Only thing that I've noticed is natural fitness is quite low, so I can't play him like every day, every game in a row. But he has done. He's been say, hopefully he can turn it, turn his um, career around and be alright. So um, yeah, because I, I saw that as a good player in there. Um, another player who's he's come in. He's he's not like my backup striker, but he's doing he's doing quite well and they improve all the time. Just they come. He's just no. Had a bit of an injury, but so this season, as you say, 
He didn't start three matches, 12 on the bench, but he's come in and scored five goals. Yeah, he's um, a very good backup player. He's going to be a good player in the end. I'd say last season he did okay as well. So he's just a, he's not a first choice, so yeah, I'm pleased how he's coming along. Um, uh, just show you a couple of players I did sign in the summer. So, I've got, oh yeah, I've got Robbie, Cud Robbie Cundy coming as well um, in January. I did uh, sign him, it's quite cheap. Uh, as you can see, by the recommended by my scouts, um, already played um, a few games in League One for Sheffield Wednesday, so he's going to be a good player. Um, we'll make the stronger at the back as well, so um, so good stats for this level. I say he'll come in and be a first choice centre half. Um, yeah, so I got rid I got rid of a lot of players who weren't going to get much game time, um, so I've got a little bit of money in for them. Not much, obviously, because um, the level they're at. And so the players I did bring in, I didn't pay anything for him. Say so, Canate, I had him on loan last season. He did very well for me. Um, so to see him, he's he got released. I was pretty pleased to pick, pick him up straight away. Say so he's he's my first choice attacker midfielder. Good stats, good improve all the time. So very pleased to get him in. Um, then one of my other favourite players I got in got Crystal Palace. Dre, he's far too good at this level. He shouldn't be playing at this level, but um, yeah, got him in on a free. He's doing okay. He's played a lot of games for us. A couple of assists, but yeah, as you see, stats. He's he's not a lead to play. He's, he should be a lot higher up than that. Um, so I'm, I think I might get some few offers for him in the summer. I mean, obviously Jordan I but I had to do a couple more seat them um, before the end of last season. So. Hansen came in from, from Oxford, be my defensive midfielder. He's come in and done okay. Um, played a few games for us now, but I didn't pay a lot of money for him. Um, just set him down, so he ain't been there that long. So um, Then I got a youngster from Liverpool who was trying to get released. Um, I say he's, he was highly recommended by my scouts. He's going to be a good player. So he's played a couple of games for us, um, mainly in the cup and stuff. But he's only young, um, so I think he's going to be a good player for us eventually. I did get Brad Hills in from Norwich. I just spent a bit of money on him. Um, highly, highly recommended by my scouts. So I got him in. I did pay a little bit of money for him, 115. But I say he's played a few games for us. Um, done okay. So he's another one for the future, really. But the stats are very good already. And then obviously Tom Eves. I've got to say I got in on a free as well. So. He's one of my favourite signings, paying him a little bit of money. But yeah, he's done very well for us. So there are the ins and outs. Now the team's going went really well. So yeah, so for the League 2, I think it's quite a strong squad. So you look at the potential as well. A lot of players who could play at a lot of higher level. James Jones is very good as well. He's, um, I'll say, last season did really well for us. Over 21 assists. And this season he's, he's the same so he's on eight already as well he's a very good player so these I, I think some of these players can play at a lot higher level um and i say if you look at some of the say i've got, I've got a young young goalkeeper in as well zach goffrey he's um he's a backup keeper but 16 years old um he's very good potential as well so all these players have got will play at a lot higher level eventually but um as you can see, this is my main. These players here, I'm my main first eleven, and these players will come in and um, help the team. But they're not, they're not quite ready. So the two stars and stuff like that. So, but they will be good. So yeah. So I'll keep you updated, guys, on how things are going. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.